please rise. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being present during this special time as we gather to be part of the marriage of Matthew and Sumi. It is my personal honor to conduct this ceremony because Matthew and Sumi were present during one of the most important times of my life. My daughter was born several weeks early, and in the first few days of my daughter's birth, with no family close by, emotions running high, and supplies low, Matthew and Sumi unconditionally provided all they could for us in our time of need. And it gives me great pride to be there with Matthew and Sumi on the first day of their new family together. Except this time, the only crying will be tears of joy. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone in attendance today for their support of the bride and groom. The love and encouragement of friends and family is just as important as the love between the bride and groom. I'd also like to acknowledge all of the people who couldn't be here today. So out of respect for those absent, I will eat their slice of cake. <laughs> to me, Marriage represents the ultimate act of commitment. When you marry someone, you're putting your absolute trust and faith in that person. Your wife or your husband is going to be the one with whom you can share all of, life, all of life's best moments and who will always love you and support you in sickness and in health. When two people get married, they're saying, I love you for who you are and who you will be, and I want to share my life and my future with you. This means that no matter what happens on life's road, you will have a partner to navigate the bumps, the turns, the weather, the traffic, the flat tires. Okay, sorry about the last part. I used ChatGPT to write that one. I'd like to share one story, one intimate moment between Matthew and Sumi that I think demonstrates the bond that they have. While Matthew was still in school, Sumi left her job in California to move all the way to Texas to be with him. You only do that for someone you love. But shortly after, there was a record-setting storm that knocked out water to their apartment for four days. They rationed what little water they had, they scavenged in the stores, they melted snow together, they even filled buckets from questionable water sources to use. Mm -hmm. You only do that for someone you really love. They were too busy having fun to be miserable, and they realized in that moment how much they loved and cared for each other. Every person here, including myself, wishes for your marriage to be happy, healthy, and full of love. Although everyone might have different opinions on how to accomplish that, I still have a few minutes left, so I'll share my opinion. As far as I know, no one has invented mind reading technology yet, so a successful marriage depends on communication. When you're feeling lost, you must tell your partner. When you're feeling confused, you must tell your partner. And most importantly, when you're happy to see them at the end of a long day, yeah, you have to tell them that too. You have to share your moments together in honesty and in sincerity, no matter what. 
Now, let's take a few moments to hear from the bride and groom themselves. Sumi, please read your vows to Matthew. Okay. I'm gonna dab my tears real quick though. Matthew, today as we stand here, surrounded by our loved ones, I want to make these vows to you. I promise to always be a loving and good wife. I promise to respect and support you. I promise, promise to be patient and work together with you to achieve our hopes and dreams. I want to build a home, a life, and a family with you. And I am so happy to call myself your wife from this day forward. Matthew, please read your vows to Zoom. Okay. <clears throat> Sumi, I promise to always be by your side. I want to see your smile every chance I get and to be your one true companion in every one of life's adventures. I promise to comfort you when you're sad and to catch you when you fall. I promise to listen to all the strange dreams you had from the night before, to clean the cat litter box every day, and to laugh at all the Facebook videos that you show me. <laughs> no matter what lies ahead of us, Sumi, I love you, and I want to make you happy for the rest of our lives. Well, since we're all still here, I guess they've heard what I've said and they still want to get married. So, Sumi, do you take Matthew to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Matthew, do you take Sumi to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Please exchange your rings as a symbol of your commitment. By the authority invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Matthew, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Presenting Mr. and Mrs. Millard. If you have flowers, uh, if you have a cup of flowers, the newlyweds will walk down the aisle and as they cross by, give it a toss. 